versus Zed, Baker versus Real, Real Duel would have never happened. Yeah, the greatest, probably the greatest single play in League of Legends. Yeah. So what well, will they pick? We're going to see a little bit of trolling be as they yeah. talk about this. And the strategy here, you're trying to find, you either all in on one strategy, or you try and find something that could deal with a variety of different situations. And of right. course, like you said, the mind games, what are they going to pick? Is it safe for me to pick this, this powerful champion right now? What do we go for? Cassiopeia hasn't been yeah. on the table tonight either. That's true. And, uh, you know, I would imagine we'll see that Callista from at least one of these carries. Now, Wolf, yeah, he could play the Blitzcrank, and that's a very snowball-y champion to bring into blind pick, but also very risky, especially with the 5.7 nerfs that Blitzcrank got on that W. Man, my heart is pounding, Go! I am right, so geez. excited for that last game. And the Azir taken out in the last couple. Coco had that pretty strong performance on the champion in game one. I think there's played Riven before, but I've, I would be surprised if we saw it right now. What do you think? Yeah, I believe it's professionally undefeated on Riven, True for what it's worth. All right, looks like we're getting serious. There it is. Listen to that crowd. It's Faker on the block. He is undefeated on this champion. He's 11-0 all-time professionally. Wow, this is just a superstar comp for both of these teams. Shy opting for the Shivana. No mirror matchups this game. No. We somehow have avoided it. Oh, this is going to be a great game. This is going to be amazing. Let's check it out. We're wasting no time getting into this one. So coming in, of course, Faker on probably his signature champion. He's got a lot of great champions, but LeBlanc is the one that he has gone the longest and had the most wins on while remaining undefeated. Right. They are looking to get some early advantages All with right. Callista. This is it, game five, blind pick SKT versus CJ. Let's do it. Welcome to Summoner's Rift, guys. SK Telecom T1 taking on CJ Entis. <laughs> wow, listen to that. <laughs> this is Korean Esports, guys. And we are ready to see some sick League of Legends. <laughs> it's getting late here in Korea, too. These guys staying well past the time of uh, public transportation. Getting to the edge of it. And SK Telecom, man, what, what a story about this team, 0-2. I gotta say, when you look at the players' faces, geez, CJ looked a little bit nervous coming into this one. Wolf started hooked though. He did indeed, yeah. Not the, not the worst thing in the world, but it does uh, maybe prevent you from getting a little bit quicker of a level two if you're relying on that play to help damage minions early on. But I think, uh, what do you think about Coco's Azir versus Faker's LeBlanc? Uh, we'll have to see. Obviously, Coco knew that this was a possibility. Definitely. Coming into this matchup. Likelihood, even. Yeah, likelihood, probably. Yep. Uh, we'll be able to get some poke down. Fans of our green competitors there. In the early game. and. Actually, uh, Faker just going to go pop over and help Marin. All right. They're going to give the uh, Krugs to Bengi. It I'm looks not like sure too. who got the experience off that wolf. Actually, it looks like Marin did, but okay. Shy, Shy will be on that Shivana where he drew bans for a lot of this series after some strong performances to start out the night. Yeah, and we've got a Smite top laner versus a uh, non-Smite top laner too. Interestingly enough, and yeah, this is one of those. This is one of those positions where it's going to be, again, hard for SK Telecom to overcome the tankiness of CJ if they find themselves going even late. Right. Um, Didn't stop him last time, just took him 70 minutes to close it out. And uh, an absolutely sensational performance. Faker oh, wow. getting chunked early, yeah, faster. Yeah. Like level two. Oh, Faker going in on a Coco anyway. Look at this. He's got a flask. Yeah, but still, look at this. This is how Faker plays League of Legends, dude. I know, but <laughs> it's exciting. Look at that! 
Faker's getting uh, very close to uh, being a little bit too exciting. He's being a little bit too Faker right now. But this is here. It's going to be tough to deal with early on. Faker yes. really needs to keep it calm. So he, he he knew that this matchup was a possibility as well. Yeah. And Coco really pushing it hard, having coming out to a big CS lead as this wave hits the turret. Bengi not looking for a gank quite yet. Instead, calmly going through his jungle, picking up the reds off. We'll see if he wraps around to the other side. Oh, uh, nice ward. In there. Nice ward. Ooh, okay. Ambition got a good ward, and he's got crab control as well. So Ambition yeah. playing playing vision. Mad life. Okay. And we see a scrap here in the mid lane. Mad life and is here. And Bang coming up there as well. Bengi could be in a little bit of trouble here. Faker comes in, puts some damage down onto Coco. Ambition has joined the fray as well. Everyone backs out, but a close call there. Even Bang coming up from bot lane. They pushed that wave up, and he had a little bit of breathing room to do it. But now, Bengi didn't have to use his flash there. Yep. Flash and ignite, gone for Mad Life, and that's great for oh, wow. SKT because the kill pressure of the Thresh Callista lane is huge. Well, flash gone for Coco in mid as well, too. Yeah, so actually, SK Telecom coming out with a win right there as Mad Life got there first, but SK Telecom showed up in the nick of time Yep. We're going to turn it around now there. Looking to push this lane up just a little bit more. Mad Life comes back. So nothing exciting yet, but there are options now for SKT, of course. That is here. Pretty immobile. And Faker with the Ignite might be able to make something work right here. I went back for the idol. Yeah. Meanwhile, Coco just going to try and build that Athenes. And Marin with the double rings to start off with. And that's going to help him duke it out with Shy on the top lane. So Faker's going to get the first blue of the game, actually. Hand it off. They really want Faker to snowball this. So yeah. there's a lot on Faker's shoulders this game. And no better champion to have him do it on than this LeBlanc. Uh, well, he missed his chain. Uh, they may have gotten first blood with that if he had hit it. But good dodge by Coco. Coco's Azir looked extremely good in game number one. Banned out the rest of the night. And when he has the chance to play it, here in blind pick, picks it up immediately. And you know Faker's gonna play LeBlanc. But I still feel like it's a pretty dangerous situation here. For CJ overall, Mad Life lurking in tri brush as Ambition comes down into lane. They're, I don't think they're going to fall for this. Ward right in the yeah. river brush right there. So they know the score. Also, Sentinel's coming out. We'll eventually detect Mad Life. Man, those Sand Soldiers doing so much damage. Faker actually coming up to a 12 CS lead out of all that, though. That's incredible wow. considering the deficit he started out with. But Coco's scared now. Real scared without that flash and the threat of the Rek'Sai still there. Well, Faker there. has Ignite. Oh, how did that not hit? Weird. Yeah, that was very strange. That looked like it was dead on. That uh, flask really coming through from Faker. There we go. That one hit. Coco may be in a little bit of trouble now. Faker trying to dodge. Coco doing a lot of damage. Ignite not used yet. Here comes Ambition. Faker has to back away and use that flash. Did not use Ignite the entire time. And Ambition could be in trouble. Bengi coming in. Getting very low. Ignite used now. And ah. that is it. First blood goes to Bengi. Faker didn't get it, but they got the kill for SK Telecom either way. Yeah, and targeting the player without the barrier as well. So yep. Coco was able to get out of that one. And Shy has to, looks like he ulted there up in the top side. And he's going to get his recall delayed by a sapling. So Lauren getting a very small, small advantage. We'll see if Shy wants to stick around. Looks like he will. Doesn't want to go back quite yet when he still has some HP to work with. Makes sense. Nice deep ward from Marin too during all that, looks like. Unless that's an older one that's about to run out. Yeah, it looks like he was put up there earlier, but I didn't see him walk up there, so I'm not entirely sure. Well, Faker with a nice little lead now in this lane with that fiendish codex along with the idol. Just a chalice for Coco. And so the pressure is going to continue, and Faker already nearly 20 CS up against his lane opponent. Well, SK Telecom, too, just putting their absolute faith in Faker, looking yep. to give him that first blue of the game when they have the Rek'Sai, and he's been able to push that advantage. That's, you know, Faker gets a little bit ahead, and that's what can happen. Well, if you are going to trust... Oh, Wolf gets a death sentence onto Coco. Beggy right there as well. Coco manages 
to make it out, but it had the sand soldier there waiting just in case anything yep. weird happened. This, and uh, it did. Something weird did happen. So, okay. Still no flash for either Ambition or Bengi after that scuffle in the mid lane. Well, this is all helping Faker too. All right. Will we see a dragon soon from CJ possibly? They've got the pressure on the uh, dragon pit right now. Looks like it will be Bloodthirster first for Callista. Yep, pretty common. Yep. At least here in Korea. Yep. Well, that's the region we cast. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a, that's going to be a great item Ooh. against this Urgot because you'll be able to absorb some of that poke damage. Yeah. With the shield. Oh, they're going over the it. wall. There's a flash from Wolf as well, too. Mad Life could be in trouble here. Bang coming in, loading on the damage. Great knockup. Space trying the position reverser on to Bang. And here comes Ambition. Could they turn it around? Mad Life already dead, though. And Bang in a great position gets another kill Shai's from Bang. here, but he has no HP. Yep, he has Shai ult. very low. He can't follow this one. Ambition low as well. Can they get him? They will. A kill for Bang. SKT blowing it wide open in just nine minutes. Another kill. That's a double for Bang. Five kills for SK Telecom. A 3,000 gold lead, Bengi. Wow. SKT coming in with a plan and executing. Yeah, and these are why these champions are so strong right now, why we've yep. seen some of the bands this series, and this is a huge advantage for SK Telecom. Bengi looking for even more, has that ward already on the red buff, and Shy coming in with his ult, never using it, however, in that situation, full fury, but uh, so low. Yep. As we do see how strong Callista is, and that's the issue, space, yeah, he's playing the Zergot, but he couldn't get the poke down first, and he had tier. He's not in any kind of shape to be fighting with a BF sword bang early yeah. in this game. I like and the, the setup was absolutely there from Wolf as well with the flash. I really do like the adaptation that Bang is doing right now, too, going for the Berserker's Greaves to just get more autos, more Ren stacks up quicker early in the game. I think that's pretty strong. Yeah, no sustain, however, which may be problematic, but he's enough ahead of space that he's getting there. Feel good. Shy just TPing to his demise in the bottom side. And yeah. looks like this is SKT's game to lose right now. It, it is hard to imagine that with the composition that they have and the early and mid game power, that they're going to slip up enough to come back. It's going to take a really heroic performance from CJ. Yeah. Man, SKT, in a, in a match like this, besides he goes to the finals, Coco taking some damage there to experiment with your roster in the first two games and then be like, oh, okay, we do need to actually play Faker and Bengi. Let's let's try to win this, guys. And, and here we are two games later. Wow. No dragon taken off of that skirmish, though. No, not so yet. So now they may. They're going for it. Okay. Well, Bang again, you know, with that, those Berserker Screams is going to stack these spears really fast, as you can see. And the run damage is a lot. All right, first dragon of the game goes to SK Telecom. I can't believe they're five kills up already. I cannot believe it. Two kills on Bengi, two on Bang. And Faker still pressuring this mid lane, not quite as far ahead as he was before, but Coco still with only that chalice and the ring. Well, Coco actually has done a good job of catching up in terms of farm at yeah. the very least. So he's sticking in this one. He's doing what he can. And obviously, this Azir is a great pick for him. The fact that Faker still hasn't solo killed him, it's pretty amazing. Coco is good. Yeah, big advantage though. Cinderhulk already completed for Bengi, who does have his 2 0 and 3 already, zipping to the other side of the map. Yep. Shy low in top. Wow, look at that turret. It's already nearly done. And SK Telecom, if they can go a turret, a dragon, and five kills up before 13 minutes, Coco in a little bit of trouble. Ember's divide. Up. It didn't work. And will he go down? He will. Faker with a solo kill in mid lane. And the top turret going down for Marin as well. Yeah, oh, boy. He messed up his ult. Yes, he did. 
That is really, really rough. All the pressure on these guys right now. And if you're Coco, you're playing against Fakers LeBlanc, man. A champion player combination that has never been beaten. In, in yeah, in, in two Korea. years. Yeah. Ever. No one has beaten it. International competition, domestic competition. No one's beaten Fakers LeBlanc. Maybe on solo queue it's happened, but <laughs> sure, it's never happened. happened in solo queue. In, never <laughs> happened in professional play. Well, if Faker lost it in solo queue, his teammates were totally terrible. <laughs> also, probably true. Yeah. All right, Bang could be in trouble here. Okay, not a lot of people there. They're gonna jump onto him. Mad life. They're gonna play Bang just tunneling in. They're gonna try to take this move up away. Ambition from the wall. Nice ultimate. Are they gonna get Bangy? It looks like they will. A kill, there's a position reverser. Oh, but they're just gonna pull out one with a fades call. Space still in the middle of everything. Here comes Wolf and Bangy, or uh, Bang rather. Bang doing a lot of damage. Marin chasing Ambition of Coco away. And Bang is starting to destroy people again. Goodbye, Coco. Another kill for Faker. And meanwhile, Wolf getting bloodthirsty in the river, taking down Mad Life. And there was nothing Shy could do. His TP was a few seconds away from being up when that fight started. Yeah. So there, it was just Marin able to respond in that situation. And even though Benki goes down, they take a whole hell of a lot for it. Shy trying to pick up the pieces, get a turret in the top side. Yeah, it looks like he'll be able to do that. But man, CJ already nearly 5,000 gold down as Faker puts more damage onto the mid lane turret. Well, Shy trying to do a bit of counter jungling while he's over there anyway. So CJ has to split push now. They're, they have the Cinder Hulk on the Shy. He's trying to get as much as he can out of this situation. Jeez, he almost just got that turret. Ambition coming in. Faker dodges the body slam, does a ton of damage in return. And uh oh, Shy coming in. Knock up on the Shy. There's a death sentence from Wolf. Shy has to fly, uh, fly away with his ult. Dragon's descent. Everybody right there to back Faker up. He knows exactly how much pressure he can put down. Yeah. And still escape relatively unscathed. Man, after the way that last game went, this is starting to feel like a victory lap for SK Telecom. Well, I think that how, losing a game like we just saw CJ lose, that it they know it. they know they should have won that game. Yep. And for SK Telecom too to come in with this very terrifying LeBlanc on Faker is something that after being down mentally after that last game. That's the last thing you want to see. Yeah, and SKT just all over CJ. Now Bengi may have to give his life again. No, pulled out with the Lantern. Marin, body blocking. Skill shots out. Faker, Coco comes over the wall, pushes Faker under the turret. The turret goes down though. Faker gets away. There's the passive. Will he make it out? Bang on top of everybody. Faker does go down. Space grabs a kill there. Shy coming in and SKT is going to need to back away. Oh, nice grab onto Bang there by Madlife, but Madlife getting low. Bang still hopping away. Shy chasing. He's still alive. Oh, but his ear manages to do it, sort of. Yeah, Space got the kill. Meanwhile, uh, Marin came back. On the Coco, I'm starting to kind of lose my mind here. Flash away from Marin, Wolf. Flays Shy, he's gonna go down. CJ is not quite dead yet. Well, at the very least, they're going to get this mid lane turret. And that was a great series of events. Coco nailing yeah. the ultimate that time straight into a combo with Space's position reverser to lock Faker down. Oh. <sighs> So they actually don't get the mid turret when all is said and done, but that's not actually gonna stop SKT really. Yes, we did see CJ pick up a more favorable trade in terms of kills. Space is there with four kills on his wow. Urgot already, but wow. at the same time, they couldn't get the turret. They could, they're not going to be able to set up for the dragon in the most ideal fashion. Faker will grab the blue buff right here. Well. Bengi taking the grump. And so, Dragon up in about 10 seconds now. SK Telecom in a good position here, great vision. It's also so scary to fight Rek'Sai Callista because of the knowledge you have on the map. Between the Sentinels and the Tremor Sense, there's yeah. nearly no way you can oh, catch SKT unaware. Such as, goodbye Ambition! And now they're gonna chase Mad Life, Coco, and Space. Coco throwing the Sand Soldiers back there. Baker, okay, teleport coming in. You gotta back off. Wolf with the Death Sentence doesn't actually hit anybody amazingly. Gets poked really hard though. Baker over the wall to try to take down Coco is close. Used his Ignite there as well too. Marin coming in. 
There's a kill on the Coco. Mad Life in a lot of trouble now. Baker with yet another kill. And here comes Benki over the wall. Space in a bit of trouble, backing away with that summoner heal. Oh, Baker, can he actually grab him? There's the damage. A lot on the space. Space pretty tanky already, though. Shy in the back lines. And SKT may have done this a bit too far. Bengi under the turret there. And SK Telecom backing away. Wolf in trouble. Maybe a kill for Shy. No, make it a kill for Space. A double for him. And SK Telecom just being too over eager with this one. They could have pulled back. They could have taken the dragon. Maybe they still can. But this is a dangerous situation for SKT. No, they just need to back off. Yeah, they're playing very sloppy now. They're, yeah, they they're are. committing to some of these tower dives that they really shouldn't be. Yeah, really can't do that. Baker looking to see if he can pop someone right here, but he's just going to recall. So. They had such an edge after catching Ambition and then over committing, and that's going to be a dragon over to CJ. This is where comebacks can start. Yep. Especially I with the composition so. like CJ's and the fact that this Urgot has six kills. Space, Space absolutely keeping his team in this game, and he already has a frozen heart. So tanky, so difficult for Bang to deal with well, with just a Bloodthirster. Space even had that frozen heart before the last team fight. Well, there's a ward there, though. They see CSK Telecom. Wolf trying to come in again. This is insane. Actually, CJ is all right there. Teleport coming from behind, though. They have to be careful. Fate's call. They get the flash right into Marin. Coco in a lot of trouble here. Wolf is there. Bang. Needs to be careful, though. There's a kill for Baker, though. And this one's looking a little bit better for SK Telecom. Ambition very low. Death sentence. They grab him. Another one for Marin. And SKT, I think they learned their lesson. They're going to back off instead of pushing this one any farther. The thing about SKT and their composition this game is because they're set up as a pick comp with the all the hard CC coming in uh, to complement Faker's ability to burst people down, and some, same with Bang with the Rend, is that they're able to continue fighting. And yeah. it's like, as long as they have this massive gold lead, it is to their advantage to continue skirmishing because over time, they will win the war of attrition with better items. Right. Five kills uh, done to Coco, five deaths, I should say, for Coco. And also, they're they're keeping they're keeping CJ off their objectives in all of this. They haven't been able to take down the outer ring of turrets yet, compared to SKT. Yeah. And SKT, with all outers down, can continue to set up more vision, more control, and can keep getting those picks. Only Shy's split pushing on Shivana has uh, resulted in any turrets yet. Shy, speaking of him, is in a little bit of trouble. Dragons descent back onto Bengi. CJ wanting to turn this one around. Faker. Still there, and here come the spears from Bang. And CJ needing to be pretty careful with that one. Oh! They tried to throw Wolf at him. Wolf tried the death sentence. <laughs> so at least he didn't have to flash for it. <laughs> it was a nice attempt. They have to defend this mid lane turret, though, now. That turret's pretty low. And Faker, it's, it's too dangerous to come in. Oh, here we go, Marin from the side, jumps right onto space here. Got to be careful, Bang hopping around the back line, Shy trying to get in onto him. There's the ult, oh, Bang gets a kill onto Mad Life right away. Faker picks one up onto Shy, and here we go, Marin in onto a vision. There's a death sentence onto him too, Faker with a double kill. Position reverser, Bang hopping away immediately again though. Shy in a lot of trouble, you can't fight this 2v5. And that is nearly an ace. It will be an ace as Coco, I don't think he can escape from this one. Death sentence misses, but there's Coco, and there goes a perfect ace in favor of SK Telecom. 21 minutes. Can they maybe even do Baron off of this? No, they can't. Uh, they it would can't. be really early. They're yeah. going to try. I don't think so. Well, oh, they no, will. There's no TP for Shy, so this is actually pretty safe. Okay, well, I mean, they've got the big burst from uh, the Ren stacks yeah. of Callista as well. I can see it. All right. This game, compared to last one, just feels so accelerated, but a 9,000 gold lead for SK Telecom, 21 kills to six, gives him every right to take this 22-minute Baron. Wow. Oh, SKT, pretty much kill a minute for them this game. Yeah, I think in the end, uh, CJ just cracking a bit under the pressure. QSS already done for Bang, so the Urgot ult. Not going to be too much of a concern for him any longer. He knows yep. that space is really the only threat he has to worry about. Plus, he doubles down on MR for Azir and Shivana and Ambition and Gragas and Nautilus as well. So it's actually <laughs> extremely efficient in this situation, even yeah. though he's 
for going. Oh, uh, hello. Marin uh, going by himself, 1v3, waiting for the rest of SK Telecom to catch up. Marin a bit low health, death sentence misses, but Madlife in a little bit of trouble. The hopping death has begun, and Bang picks up his first kill. Shy teleports down, Marin still low, and Ambition thinks about coming, and he turns around, he's like, nope, nope, I don't want to be a Baker's part of that. just split pushing with Baron buff right yeah, now. Yeah, why not? Wow. SK Telecom, they are winning this one hard. And now it's a 12,000 gold lead at 23 minutes. Jesus. And CJ has had, oh, Barnes, I guess he's not done. He's just gonna dive this one right onto Shy. Shy gets hit with the death sentence as well, too. Bang, coming in with the damage. There goes the turret, there goes Shy. Man. CJ has had their best season in two years, but it looks like it's gonna end here. Yeah, sure you does. can't take anything away from CJ, though. They have played so well to close out this season. Oh, yeah. And really been exceptionally close to winning this series. Yeah. And I'm very excited about how much better they have gotten in the form that we see players like Shy and Madlife in once again. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot to look forward to for summer. Um, I just go back to that last game, you know, at around, what, like 30, 40 minutes or so, where Marin was the last one up fighting for his team's life in mid lane. Incredible. That was Incredible really the moment. Comeback. That was the moment this series turned around. Oh, Bangy coming in yet again. They can fight this all day. And here comes Martin from behind. Empress Divide just pushes him farther into the team. Bang right there, loading on the damage. Wolf thrown in with that Fates call. And there goes the rest of CJ Faker with a kill on Coco. He's died a lot this game. He gets down his turret at the very end, but there's a double for Faker. Bad Life taking a lot of damage. Make that a triple for Faker now. They're gonna keep chasing Shy, or Space rather, Quadra for Faker. Ambition is low. Is he going to do it? Are they gonna give him the Penta? I don't think so. They're just gonna proxy farm in the base Why right not, now. Man? Why waiting not? for the wave to catch up. Now nah, they're just gonna tank, tank it at it. long last. Yeah, you can do it, you can do it. Oh man, all right. Well, there goes the inhibitor turret. A lot of damage on SK Telecom during all of that. Coco back up again. They have to be a bit careful. They'll leave that inhibitor. Ambition just standing stunned in his base. He just, he's like, oh, is there any left in there? I can, really, I can really use I some of this right now. He's gonna need all of it. Oh, that was the saddest Gragas I have ever seen. Oh man. Somebody give Gragas some more wine, please. Oh, I know. He can drown his sorrows. I think he's going to need something a lot stronger after this. Oh, I guess well, you don't need anything when you're dead. It's happening. Figures going off again on the block. He is 11-1 and 7. Oh, Mad Life, run! Oh, you came so close to death there, Mad Life. <laughs> Very lucky. Well, we don't feel lucky right now, but you are. Well, you know, there's nothing like having an 11, 1, and 7 LeBlanc at 26 minutes into the game. I feel confident that Faker's <laughs> unbeaten streak on LeBlanc will continue this game. He already is uh, about two core items up on Coco, who is 0, 7, and 4. Wow. I mean, he got the solo kill in lane. Faker on LeBlanc is just a thing of beauty. It really is. But, you know, Bang really equally a hero in the series himself as well. Every one of these guys, every single member of this team has played an absolutely crucial role in this match. You can think of great plays by every single one of these guys. And that's the reason they're going to the finals. Yeah, I, I, you have to give Bengi a lot of credit though for turning the series around, coming in and really did. providing that early game presence that they were very much lacking with Tom. Yeah, I mean, Tom's, a, Tom's got a great start as a jungler for SK Telecom, but when it comes down to it, you want the veteran there, you want the world champion there, and, and uh, Bengi really showing that he definitely isn't ready to give up that spot just yet. Well, yeah, the thing about Bengi is when it's when mechanically demanding junglers aren't in the meta, it, he does make good decisions. He just botches yeah. his mechanics sometimes. That's why watching him play Lee Sin, sometimes he'll overcommit or miss right. some critical skill shots, but Rek'Sai, not a lot of mechanics involved, really. We have more kills than minutes in this game, and that makes me very happy. Yep, we're turning into the LPL slowly. Yeah. 
Well, there goes another turret. And SK Telecom getting ever closer to that season finals next Saturday against the GE Tigers. And it goes to show how valuable a lot of these bands were. Not letting yeah. SKT have the Callista, not letting Faker have the LeBlanc. These have been extraordinarily oh. impactful in this game. Well, I guess the mid inhibitor is just going to go down then. There it is. Well, nobody can fight Faker, so nope. you can't even walk close to him. Nope. Wow. I know I've said wow a lot, but it's because I mean it every time. I've seen Faker's LeBlanc many times over the last couple of years, and <laughs> it's still, it still is pretty awe-inspiring. Looks like they're gonna beat a retreat for the Baron now that they have the inhibitor pressure. SK Telecom looking to slow down this game just a hair. Yeah, there's no reason to rush. There's no reason to push it any farther than you need to. It brings up a lot of questions about the final, too, that it, it looks almost it really certainly does. like SK Telecom will be attending because Marin wasn't able to, to hang with Shy on some of these teleport top laners, and he switched over to the Maokai, but I mean, just with Smeb's champion pool, you, you think he's probably going to be able to punish him a yeah. little bit more effectively with Shy, considering how good he is at NAR. I agree. I think it's going to be a very interesting matchup in the top lane between uh, Smeb and, and Marin. Presuming that they're going to be uh, heading to the finals, which again, you know, I mean, if you look at that scoreboard, 20,000 gold ahead, 28 to 6 kills. That's their second Baron already at 29 minutes. It's <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, I really don't think that CJ is going to be uh, coming back in this one. No, even with their scaling, even with their tankiness, it's yep. way too far gone. Yep. I would say so. They can't turtle well with his ear. Yeah. They thought they could with Ziggs, too. <laughs> well, Faker's got Zonia's Hourglass now. Yeah, that's what, exactly what he needed mm -hmm. in this game. Ludens, man, that's what he actually needed. Maximize that AP. Mm -hmm. Here we go, another push. Dragging up in a minute 30, but uh, I don't think SKT is too concerned about it. You don't really need dragon stacks when you're ahead this far. Wolf is the designated mid late split pusher, I guess. He's there to cheer the super minions on. Uh, he's also got Zeke's Herald as well. It's actually good on on this uh, first For Calista? Yeah, it's fantastic. Whoa, here comes Coco. Nice, nice attempt. Bank flashing out of that, turning it around. Great attempt by Coco, but SKT just too much damage here. CJ, though, all over Bank and Wolf. Bengi trying to save them. CJ actually with a lot of help left shy. With the kill, Bang goes down. Here comes Marin from the side now. Where is Faker? Faker was in the mid lane the entire time. There goes Wolf. A double kill for Shy. Here comes Faker, though. A kill on Mad Life, maybe on Space. There's a, there's a Zonius. Can Faker do anything off of this? Bengi's still alive. Goodbye, Space. There's a double kill for Faker. Bengi's still making plays here. Marin's still alive, too. Shy going to get taken down. Make that a triple for Faker. There is the ace. A valiant effort by CJ at the end coco already back up because the death timers are so short right now but that's going to be at least another inhibitor yeah he can't even get close right now because if he gets grabbed yep. by maokai that's absolutely going to be it coco standing in his face not even trying to defend this oh there goes Nexus next turn number one bang just coming up now sk telecom's going to go ahead and uh call it a day for uh now in the base banker just going ahead and using that empowered recall before it runs out a little bit greedy. A little bit greedy. Yeah, worked uh, out. Of SKT, and that was about as good of a fight as CJ could have hoped for yeah, coming really in, was. considering how long it took Faker to move from the top <laughs> side of the map. Well, he was like, I'll get there eventually. I just want to, you know, <laughs> kill a couple more minions. He's like, I'm so close to my next BF sword, guys. Hold on. And there's Dragon number three for SK Telecom. <laughs> wow. Faker is terrifying. What a monster. <laughs> the look in his eyes was just like that of a cold, merciless <laughs> killer there. He's like, I've, I've killed so many, I don't even know what it's like to feel anymore. <laughs> this is just what I do. This is my reality now. Stacking the bodies of CJ and his players. Holy cow, he could poke Shivana. He could do that to Shivana. 
Okay, after survive misses, Coco messes up the alt again. Bank very low. This, oh, wow. Baker gets the kill into Coco. Bank does go down. Space with a nice play there. Gragas alt hasn't done enough. CJ still on top of everyone, but the damage is way too high. And here we go. SK Telecom finishing off CJ Entis. Shy is still alive for now, but they can just go right for the Nexus. Marin just going for the solo kill on Ambition. Goodbye. Gragas and only Shy left. There goes the Nexus and CJ taken down. SK Telecom comes back from 0-2. The reverse sweep to send them to the grand finals against GE Tigers. SK Telecom, man, this is just what they do. What an exciting series and to cap it off, line pick. Vaker remains unbeaten on LeBlanc, 12 and 0. 37 kills for SKT in 33 minutes. 15, 1 and 10 for Faker that game. 8, 3 and 21 for Bang. GE Tigers, you better be ready, man, because SK Telecom, when they get serious, their opponents get dead. Well, those power picks really working well for SKT. Yep, sure is. And wasn't the cleanest series. SK Telecom starting not really operating very well as a unit wow. in terms of their map play or their teleports, but they pulled it together by the end. Faker just sitting there at the end of it like, I died once. <laughs> Mad Life. I'll say it again one last time. Mad Life is back. He really is. And this was a fantastic season for CJ Entis. In the end, it just wasn't enough against a team like this SK Telecom team. But CJ, I think, is going to be back in a big way in 2015. I sure Great hope start so. Great so far.